This song by Mew has three drum beats in it that will really help level up your game. Let's learn them. They go from easiest to hardest. It's fun whatever level drummer you are, but if you're looking for intermediate drum beats to sort of push you just a little bit, this is a video for you. Let's start with the simplest groove, level one if you like. The first thing you hear in the song, this big anthemic chorus without vocals. And what do you hear in the drums? A bunch of 16th notes. However, let's focus on the kick and the snare first. Okay, now for those reprobate 16th notes. Let's get them under control. A teeny percent of drummers could play this one-handed without breaking a sweat. Fortunately for you and I, the drummer in this tune isn't into all that. This is a classic alternate hand 16th note pattern. The key to anything with single strokes, any pattern with alternate sticks, right, left, right, left, is this. Choose your leading hand, meaning which hand goes first and then where does that hand go? This is important because you need to know which hands your kick and snare will sync with. If you're playing the kit this way around with the hi-hat on your left, you will lead with your right hand. In fact, if I move my left hand from the hi-hat to this drum pad so the sound doesn't trigger, you can hear what my leading hand is doing. This is the key to getting this groove super tight. Can you play it like that with one hand? Can your leading hand and your kick and your snare sync up perfectly? This movement between hi-hat and snare needs to be so natural you don't have to think about it at all. You can check Instagram, trade crypto, go for drinks, chat with your friends, go on a date. If you're struggling to get it tight, Two things you can practice to get you there. First, hands only. The second, exactly what we just did with our leading hand. Then all you'll do is combine these two newly acquired skill sets you have and suddenly the groove will just happen. And make sure you're still locking your kick and your snare with your leading hand now that you've added those lovely 16th notes on your hi-hat. And have fun with this one. Jam along to the song. And of course, you can improvise. Maybe there's other kick patterns you can play with these 16th notes. Maybe there's other snare patterns. Have an endless bundle of fun with it. But now, let's level up a bit. Let's try something a little more challenging. A classic trait in Mew songs is to have these slightly odd hi-hat patterns. They're just a bit more intricate. Now you saw I was playing this one group of notes on the hi-hat with one hand. If that doesn't naturally happen for you yet, that is fine. It's just something that now naturally happens for me, so it comes out. That's just how I would play it. However, the way to approach playing this is like before with alternate hands. Let's look at it. First motion to get. Right, right, left, right. Now for the second half. I would play this right, left, right, left, or hats, 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 snare. All together, you get. Now this is a pattern with variation, so that is bar one. Now bar two is easier. The same beginning, but a different ending. Let me just double time the count to make that a little clearer if it wasn't. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, both of those patterns together. The 
The last thing to add, an open hi-hat right at the end of the pattern. This happens every four bars. So all together you'd get Now in verse one, the groove is just like that. However, in verse two, the drummer adds kick. You'll notice the kick matches the first three strokes you have with your right hand. Let's just look at it slowly. And that's what you're aiming for. Again, making sure your right hand and your right foot are super locked. Positioning the snare can be a bit of a challenge. Let's use that double time count again, just to really nail it. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Fabulous work. Let's look at the third, final, and most challenging of these grooves. Your first leading question, what's the time signature? Everything up until now has been in this nice steady 4-4. Four, four. What's going on here? Listen again. Let me play the strong beats louder so you can count it a bit better. Did you get it? It's like four plus a fill, which is two. Six, four plus two, however you hear it. Let's dive into this. We're going to have to hit this beat in stages. Stage one, right hand, ride, eighth notes. Stage two, snare on beat three. One and two and three and four and. Stage three, add some kick. We'll start with a simplified rhythm. Let's add the ride and the snare. One and two and three and four and five, six. One and two and three and four and five, six. One and two and three and four and five, six. Stage four. Time to add those 16th notes. To do that, I'm gonna double time the count again because counting individual 16th notes, one E and uh, oh, just nightmarish. Let's not do that. Now, you're gonna add a snare here. Let's get that going. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. The independence between your right and left hand that might give you trouble, it's this. Both right, left, right. That's the bit. Both right, left, right. Both right, left, right. Once you've got that, it's time for stage five. So many stages to this groove. And it's back to the kick. Time to add another 16th note. Check it out. Using that same handy double time count to get that 16th, let's hear it. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. So the groove overall now is da, 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 da. Da, da, da. It's just a case of what drums or cymbals actually play those notes. Stage six, add some crashes. Let's just pick out where they are. One. 
Congratulations. Was that a stretch for you? Let me know in the comments, or was this all a breeze? Now you're smart, so you've noticed we've left a conspicuous hole in this groove. And that is where a fill goes, and that means it's fill time! Every drummer's favourite time. Now you've mastered your groove, you have two beats exactly in order to do a fill of your choice. Now in the tune, the drummer tends to keep it fairly straightforward, but there is variety and improvisation there. We'll learn the basic template fill, then you can add whatever spice you want to add in that gap. You can play whatever fills you like. Here's the template fill. Two strokes on each tom. If you don't have three toms, no worries. Do it on whatever you've got. You can have... You could have... Whatever makes sense for your setup. So what does that feel sound like in the context of the groove we just learned? got this five six is where your fill goes crash da, 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 da. crash da, 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 da. and once you get it it's an amazingly satisfying groove to play congratulations you've now mastered three new beats that are gonna push you into that next level. Let me know how this was for you. Was this too easy, too hard? What kind of level are you at right now? And definitely have a go playing along to the whole tune. It's a fun one. It's the evidence that simple and easy are not necessarily the same thing. There'll be some nice little challenges in there for you. And if you're looking for other tunes of a similar level to this, I've another good one for you. I've got a cover of the video so you can watch that to get an overview of the tune and see what's getting on. Then I have a couple of detailed breakdown videos of the beats and the specifics. The video is here and I'll see you there.